Greetings to you who are loved by God and called to be saints. Today we're going to look at Psalm 64, verse 5, and the question that arises from there, and it reads, They hold fast to their evil purposes. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking, Who can see them? Now David, never having a want for enemies, writes this psalm in a time when plots are being made against him. And his name is being dragged through the mud. He also brings out the fact that they have a zeal in pursuing their evil purposes, all under the guise of secrecy and dark motivations. David being blameless and innocent of, his, of these accusations that were aimed at him doesn't deserve the evil that's plotted against him. But in spite of this, David trusting in, in God's deliverance tells how all of mankind will fear the Lord and will tell of what he has done to bring about this deliverance. As God shoots his arrows at, at David's enemies and brings them to ruin, with their own tongues turned against him, many will wag or shake their heads and ponder what God has done. Well, a thousand years later, God would again deliver the offspring of of David from his enemies. As they in their secrecy and again their dark motivations plot against the Lord's anointed, aiming their bitter words like, like arrows at, at this blameless one, dragging his name Emmanuel, God with us, in the dirt. But this time, however, God wouldn't use arrows to shoot down our Lord's enemies, but he would use nails. Nails driven by the very enemies who, in their dark motivations, again, inspired by the, the collective sinfulness of all humanity, from Adam to us, crucified this blameless, innocent Son of God. So let us, so let us shake our, our heads and ponder what we have done. But more importantly, let us contemplate what this son, sinless Son of David has done for us in giving God's children his righteousness and eternal salvation. Let us pray. Lord, we who have been made righteous by faith in Jesus, let us rejoice in your salvation and take refuge in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.